Hello, hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to another episode of Unapologetically Abundant. And I can promise you that today's episode is going to be not only abundant, but also super unique. My beautiful guest, Jessica Rose B. <laughs> is here with me today and she has so many incredible gifts. We already jumped on a call before I brought her here and I just knew I get to share her with you because she is really teaching and helping women how to align with their purpose and who they really are. And I think it's super important to be able to tap into your intuition and your purpose. And very often we don't even know how to listen and what's our truth. So I'm super excited to have Jessica here. Hi. 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 Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. And you know, all your incredible, beautiful bio is going to be in our show notes, but I'm wondering, you know, like I was stacking you before we talked. So I know that you like me are a nature lover. I just love your pictures in forest and all the greenness. I'm like, that's my kind of girl. So I really <laughs> love that. So let me just take you on a, on a super quick journey because I have a one question for you. Imagine that you are in a beautiful forest. It's a spring. The birds are chirping. You're feeling really amazing. You see butterflies around and you're feeling so good high on life. And as you're walking on this path in this beautiful forest, there's a girl walking with her doggy and she looks at you and she's like, oh my gosh, you look so serene. Who are you? So what is the one thing you want this girl to know? Not what you do, but who you really are. What is the one thing you want her to know about you? I want her to know that I am a think of the word that I am a passionate survivor you know I've had a hard time in my life but I've overcome it all and just found my purpose and have just reignited a passion for life you know like I had struggled with anxiety depression bullying trauma so many things and now I'm finally at a point in my life where I've been able to release that and just start living um, my purpose and start living like more happy and like serene feeling that you were just describing. Mm, that's so beautiful because I think that very often people, when they go through the obstacles and traumas in their lives, they let the traumas to change the future. They, they let it to influence what's possible for them. So when you can turn it around and live passionately, not just like surviving, but really driving and passionately living your purpose, it gives so much hope to other women, you know, especially women. You know, I, I feel that we are really awakening and locking our arms together to walk together instead of comparing and bullying and you know talking crap on social media women are rising and we are really rising together so much faster than we could ever do alone definitely yes and I think my background has given me a perspective where I can be more compassionate towards others and relate to them on their levels because the, the ideal clients I work with are basically me a few years ago. And so I want to show them like it is possible to go from that place to a better place. There's hope. It does, as cliche as it sounds, it does get better if you take steps and you work towards it every day. You can have a life that you love. Yeah, I love that so much. And um, also at the beginning of um, this episode, I mentioned that it's going to be a little bit unique because normally it's just, you know, flow me and, and, and really sharing with the guests what are the ways, what do they do in their life to be where they are. And in today's episode, we are going to be, because you're also, and I will totally butcher, like, how am I supposed to say that word, clairvoyant? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, that's right. <laughs> Close it up. You're clairvoyant and you're sole purpose facilitator. So before we jump on our recording call today, um, you 
did a reading for me that we'll be sharing with the audience. And then the best part, guys, don't worry, this is not just all about me. <laughs> yeah, and Jess will also share with you how you can tune into your intuition and your inner wisdom because I truly believe that we get to learn how to do it ourselves too when we don't have a guidance around. Yeah, I think that's like a common misconception is that people can't tune in for themselves, but everybody has that ability. Everyone is intuitive. They just have to to try and have to believe that they can do it. Yeah, love that. So I will give you the space to, to share with us because I'm like, guys, I have no idea how this works or what's going on. So I'll give just her space so she can read or say whatever came up for her. Okay. As soon as I tuned into you, there was a lot of joy energy coming through your heart and it was just radiating through the top of your body. Like you're living in your zone of genius. And so what was coming next was that the way to keep moving forward is to always remember that you're coming from a place of love and that your ultimate goal is to serve others and give them the love they need to find it within themselves. Um, you're there for that reason and you're that safe space for others. And then, so a lot of times when I do readings, I get a lot of random references um, and they come with a theme. So your theme was like water and boating, which was interesting. <laughs> um, so like you were, you're that safe harbor and people can go to you to release their deepest fears and desires and know they will be met with safety and love. Um, you're the lighthouse guiding the way for people to find their own paths and where they're supposed to be. You, you light the way for them and you emit a radiating light and people recognize it. So people are drawn to you because you kind of shine the light and show that path for them to be coming to you. Um, your mission here is to serve people in this way, is to be that light, is to guide people on their path, this, that safety and they know they can depend on you. Um, and your goal on this planet, as I said, is to serve and help people in their authenticity and you are that conduit. So you facilitate that interaction between their current self and their highest self and provide that basis for people to grow. So that was the first part, I think, which totally aligns with what you do, you know, and people feel so safe with you. They know they can trust you and know that through working with you, you're going to keep moving them forward. The second part, um, it says that in your life, there's a part of you that longs for more and there's a part of you that wants to be nurtured in the way that you nurture your clients and the other people. And it was like, you need to realize that what you give will probably not be able to be reciprocated by somebody else because you give so, so much to so many people that all that you give won't be able to come back to you in that same way, you know, because you like give an overwhelming amount of love. And so it says that you need to realize that that same love you give to all those people is within you and that you can give that to yourself. And this, they, they made a, a point that this is not something you're walking around with consciously. Like you're not walking around going, why doesn't anyone love me? You know, <laughs> it's not like that at all. Um, it's just like, deep down in your subconscious that's there kind of like I give so much why isn't it all coming back to me um but that's in you you know and like your strength is deep down inside of you and there's a sense of peace deep beneath it and they also wanted me to know that it's not to be confused with self-care because a lot of times you know self-care is important but it's not what they're saying. Like they don't want you to just go out and like treat yourself. They want you to do the, the deep down struggle work um, to connect with that part of yourself. Um, they said this, your soul and your spirit and the universe is inside of you and the nurturing is already within yourself and you don't have to look to outside measures and other things because it's already in you. Um, it's like you have to uncover what buried to get to that court center and once you do any of the heaviness will be released um, and then some recommendations that came is to get an angel quartz crystal and just spending time with yourself 
and at night and just really feeling into yourself and feeling that and giving yourself the love and nurturing sense to your soul and also to your inner child um, and to your entire being in essence. So they were showing me, it's like imagining yourself, like sitting with your angel quartz crystal and just imagine yourself like overflowing with pink quartz love, like starting at the bottom of your feet and just coming in and like filling yourself all the way up with the pink um, rose quartz love and just watching it overflow and spill down onto you um, so that you're filling yourself up with that love and then it allows you to continue to let it spread onto other people. Wow. I am <laughs> like, wow, that's so amazing. And like guys, mind you, like like Jess, we connected on a call, but I didn't tell her anything about me. She doesn't know my past, she doesn't know my personal life. Well, she can read it on Instagram, right? But the things that she's saying, it's so fascinating. Right before I jump on a call with you, just I had a clarity call. And the first thing we were talking with this girl was, I love water. I feel oh. safe in water. I feel that it purifies me and make, makes me feel home. So when the first thing that you bring in is that I am the safe harbor and the water and people coming to me. Also, a few years ago, I had a reading from really incredible uh, astrologists and author and numerologists. And he, when I asked him, and this was, I believe, maybe seven, eight years ago, that's when I started my journey, really, of awakening and really connecting with who I am. I asked him, what is my purpose? Like, why am I here? He told me, I'm the one who will be guiding people from the darkness to the light. Wow. So you mentioning me being the lighthouse and people feeling safe with me, that's something that I'm really known for. My clients, women come to me because they're tired of wearing masks. They're tired of playing a small. They're tired of being afraid to step up in their own power. And because I don't dim my light anymore for anyone, no matter what, I give them hope to shine their own light and see what's possible and when they are in their own light, now they can create the impact. Now I can give them the strategies because if I jump with women and give them the plans and strategies and steps, they're going to self-sabotage. Like they're, you know, their thermometer, it's somewhere completely else. And they just don't know what's possible. So I love when you said that I'm the facilitator with within like this bridge of where they are to their, like connecting them with their higher selves their highest selves. That's so beautiful. And like, I wish that everybody could have a reading with you. So guys, if you want to, I will make sure that I will have all the show notes for just in my notes. However, you know, sometimes we are so disconnected from who we really are. What is something that our listeners can do today? Because you gave me like, I took a notes like a crazy, okay? I'm a note taker. So I put it in my beautiful journal and I have my like steps, you know, and thank you so much for that. And I'm obsessed with crystals, of course, who is not. Um, so I don't think I have the angel cord though. I know I have the rose quartz, you know, but I don't have that. But now I know what to do, you know, at night or what we can share with the audience, like how they can do it themselves. So what I always recommend is first finding a quiet place. If you like to work with crystals, I recommend getting them out. The crystals I use every time I do a reading are a selenite wand and a small piece of moldavite, which is a very high vibrational crystal. Um, technically, it's from outer space. Um, Czech Republic. It's in, they, they, it's in Czech Republic. It fell into Czech Republic, yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah. yeah. I love that crystal. It's just, it's, it helps me so much to facilitate the readings. Uh -huh. um, and then I put on, I go to YouTube and put on 963 HZ um, music sounds um, because it helps open up your pineal gland. I think that's how you say it. And which yeah. connects you deeper to your intuition. And so then I sit with that. And then the first thing I do is I imagine a ring of white light all the way around me and then I ask um, 
source, uh, God, spirit, to only bring down the information that I need for my highest self and my highest purpose. And then I just sit and listen to the music and then just feel what comes through, you know? And I know it's it can be frustrating at the beginning. I know when I first started out, I was like, why am I not getting any messages? You know, I've been sitting here for like 15 minutes, but you just have to keep doing it and know that the messages will come and to trust what comes through and realize that, you know, don't second guess it. Don't be like, oh, I think something came through, but maybe it didn't. If it comes through, accept that it came through and like setting that intention. That's so beautiful. And I love that you like, oh my gosh, girl, like you're my kind of person. Take this, do this. You know, it's like, because sometimes it's like, just close your eyes, relax, you know, and, and then like, see what comes. But when you can give me like, the specific stones and the music and listen it, this is not like cookie cutter this is what works for you and what you know that makes a difference so why not start there you know instead of like asking uncle google what do you think i should be listening you know or tuning into my intuition let's listen to just who is doing it daily with her clients you know so i absolutely love that i do have a selenite so i just get to get the um, the Moldova, um, whatever you pronounce it, Moldiv Moldivite. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we just get to get that. And um, I love listening to different, you know, um, sounds and music. So I will definitely leave these in the, in the show notes. And you are so right. Sometimes, not sometimes, very often, let's be honest here. We are living in such a like microwave mentality. Like I want everything yesterday, like five seconds later, why is it not happening? You know, so sitting with ourselves, it's so important. Let me also ask you. So now imagine that I have my stones with me. I'm playing the music. I'm sitting there. Do you have like journal by your side? Do you like interrupt the, the sitting there like if you get an idea do you just write it down do you wait till the end because i think i will forget <laughs> um when i do it for myself i wait till the end whenever i'm doing a reading for my clients i always have my computer out and i close my eyes and i just type whatever comes through mm -hmm. um so generally my readings are all channeled um i and i just I'm, I just close my eyes and the typing just happens. And then a lot of times afterwards, I don't remember anything that came up during the reading, um, which is funny because sometimes clients come back weeks later and they're like, oh, remember this? And I'm like, no, I have to check the notes because it all just slips my mind. Um, but yeah, so whenever I have a client, I always send them the notes after because um, they're all there. Everything is typed up. Mm -hmm. So for someone who is doing this for the very first time, would you suggest for them if they get an inspired idea or keyword or something to write it down in a journal or wait till the end? What do you think if, if they never done it before? I would say wait till the end just so they don't interrupt their, their flow. Um, because if it's, what's meant to come through will stay in your mind. You know, the overarching theme, if the, if you're supposed to know it, it'll stay in your mind because spirit's always like, I want to get this through. I want to get this through, especially if it's your first few times. They're like, here, she's finally listening. Like, let's send the message through. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love that. Thank you so much for that. Because sometimes like, um, I get my inspired ideas in the shower, you know, water again, <laughs> but I have my shower notes that I can be writing there because like so many times I almost kill myself, like running, like I get from the shower into my room, taking notes, you know, so <laughs> now I write it in shower when I get my inspired ideas. That's why I was interested to know if we should just like, like put it on pause and write it. But I love that you say, what you what you are supposed to know it will stay with you it's amazing it's like this this permission and trust yes i love that mm, so important so is there do you have like you personally any ritual that it's like your go to every single day 
that no day will pass, no matter what's going on in the world, no matter if you're traveling, what are you doing that you will do every day? Um, what I do every day is I'm a, I'm not a morning person. So my ritual every day is to just continue to keep my vibes high by learning. Um, I love to learn new things. I listen to a ton of podcasts on different, every day I listen to something so I can learn something new. Um, because it's something so accessible to me and I just feel like knowledge is power and hearing different perspectives. That is, is not a typical ritual for I think most people, but it's something I make sure I do every day is to just learn something new. I love you too. <laughs> I'm a podcaster, so it would be a little bit out of integrity if I don't listen to any podcasts, you know, and for me, it's, it's not a daily ritual and I have few like, like favorite podcasts, so I download them when I'm traveling and then I like binge, you know, like when I drive to California or when I'm flying to Europe or to Bali, I have them download that. So it's like seven hours of podcasts or audio wow. book, you know, so it's, <laughs> it's for me, that's like, I feel like I'm in a zone, I'm in the flow, you know, and then I can really like get more and I get so many inspired ideas, you know, of what could I bring and do by what other people do. You know, it's, it's so inspiring because when you see other people live in their light and their purpose, then you get inspired because it's, it feels like you are even more connected to yourself if you can distinguish between, oh, she has it all, like I'm so like envious versus if she can do it i can do it what is that i really want to be doing mm -hmm, definitely so beautiful what is the one thing you want to leave our audience with i want to leave everybody with the knowledge that you can find your purpose and once you get into alignment and start living out every day why you came to this planet you will see such a tremendous shift in your life and you will just start to like radiate love and light. And that's just, it's possible for you. You know, I came from such a dark place and now here I am. And if I can do it, anybody is capable of doing it. And I just believe in yourself, you know, you can do it. You can make the change. Mm. That's so beautiful. Just, I love that because that's why I created my life event meant for more. If I can do it, anyone can do it. I'm just a girl from like little town who is coming from, you know, mental, physical abuse. And if I can build like successful and fulfilling business that it's impacting the world, you can do anything really. So I love that. And my last question is, and I probably know the answer, but let's not assume. What is your favorite place you love hanging out online when people are like, oh my gosh, I love this girl. I can get enough of her where they can be stalking you. <laughs> Instagram, definitely. <laughs> you see, yeah, that's what I assume. And that's what I like wrote down because that's where we connected. And I think it's, such an amazing place and it brings the world closer together so guys um i will leave her um you know handle in the show notes but it's jess underscore b underscore positive mm -hmm. and uh she is absolutely sweet super responsive and just being around her energy lifts your own energy so make sure to follow her thank you so much you're welcome